If you want to 10x your life, if you want to 10x your success, you've got to learn to achieve more by doing less. Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. So I haven't talked about it for a little while, but a few episodes ago, I was talking about this book. 10x is easier than 2x. I've had the opportunity to read this and do a pre-read before it's released. I'll put the link in the show notes. It comes out in May, May 9th, I believe. Outstanding book, highly recommend it. But it's really taught me a lot and made me look at things from a different perspective. And I love in their subheadline they say, how world-class entrepreneurs achieve more by doing less. And after reading the book, it really makes sense. And it really made me reflect on some of my own things within my entrepreneurial journey and seeing how impactful they are. So how do you achieve more by doing less? Well, one, it's looking at what are your unique abilities? What are you really good at that no one else can do? Now, in other episodes, I've talked about their other book, Who, um, Who Not How. And the important thing about the whole concept of Who Not How is rather than saying how am I going to do something it's who's going to do it for me and looking for the right who's to do those things now in one of the other episodes when I was talking about this book I talked about the 80 20 principle and that's really where a lot of this focus comes you know 80 percent of your results are coming from 20 percent of your efforts your expertise whatever you want to look at and that's really what they focus on in this book is you've got to look at what is your 20 percent what's your 20 percent unique abilities and talents that you need to give 100% of your effort and time towards. And who can take over that 80%? Now, other times we've talked about the not to-do list, you know, going through all the things that you do, keeping track of what you do on a daily basis, go do it for a week. And at the end of the week, go through that and figure out, is it something that can be delegated? Is it something that can be eliminated? Is it something that can be automated? And you can really take a lot of things off your plate by doing that. But really, you need to figure out what that 20% is that can take you to the next level. And whatever that is, you've got to give 100% of your time and focus and effort to that 20%. And as you continue to grow pretty soon, that 20%, you're looking for the 20% of that 20%. Now, put this into perspective of how does it apply to everyday situations. I look at when I started my manufacturing company. In the beginning, and this is how a lot of entrepreneurs are in the beginning, I did everything. I built the factory, I worked in the factory, I worked in sales, I worked in accounting and bookkeeping, I, I did everything. And the thing about that was, because a lot of that was in my head, how it was all done, I created it, it was really hard for me to allow myself to delegate because in my mind it was one I don't want to take the time to teach someone two they can't do it as good as me and so I held on to a lot of things because of that what I found out when I got to the point where I was forced to delegate I couldn't handle any everything on my own and get things done when I delegated a lot of those things they did it better than me. They had the opportunity to put all of their time and focus into those things, did a better job, more efficient, better customer service in those areas. And it allowed me to put more of my attention into the other areas that were my unique expertise. And so that's what we've got to look at in whatever you're doing, whether it's your sport, whether it's your career, whether it's your family. If you want to 10X your results, You've got to figure out what are your 20%, your unique ability that you need to give all your attention to. And all of those other things, what are you going to do with them? Who are you going to delegate them to? Do they even need to be done in the first place? Can they be automated? So, you know, when we go through the not to do list, that's exactly what I encourage you to do. Over the next week, keep track of everything you do, all the tasks that you do. And then sit down and look at them and decide, can I eliminate it? Can I delegate it? And if so, who am I going to delegate it to? Can I um, automate it? 
and figure out all of these things and figure out what's the 20% you need to focus on. And that's where you're going to go with things. Now, again, it's, it's hard in a lot of situations to say, well, I can just do it myself. It's so much easier. I can take the time to do those and then I don't have to pay someone else to do it. If you can delegate those things and take those off your plate and focus more on your unique abilities, you're going to skyrocket what you're doing. So really look at those things. And, and then you get to the point where the people you delegate to, how do you help them to narrow down to their 20% of their unique abilities and get them to delegate the rest of what they're doing? You know, we look, I look at the virtual assistants that we're using right now and it started out as one and now we've got multiple that certain ones do certain things and delegate the others to some of the new ones and as you create these systems you're really going to skyrocket what you're really capable of doing from a sports perspective as an athlete what is your unique ability and if you put all your focus into creating that to be what makes you stand out how much of a difference is that going to make for you so again how world-class entrepreneurs achieve more by doing less they do less by focusing on the 20 percent so really encourage you to do that love to hear your thoughts on this you know um it's an outstanding book i'm going to put the link in the show notes it comes out i'm pretty sure it's may 9th highly recommend it it does tie in a lot of the other concepts that Dan Sullivan and Benjamin Hardy talk about. It ties in the concepts from the Gap and the Gain book, the Who Not How, Benjamin's book, Be Your Future Self Now. There's some great books there. Encourage you to get all of them. They're fantastic. But it is Friday. One of the biggest things for your success is your accountability. On Monday, we said, what are you gonna do this week so that on Friday you can look back and say, one, it's been a successful week, two, you're closer to your bigger goals. Did you do those things? Be accountable to them. Send me a DM. Come join one of our accountability groups. Whatever you need to do, hold yourself accountable so that every day you're working on those things. And now you're looking at this. When you figure out what that 20% is that you're focused on, now you really need to be accountable to it because you need to be accountable that you're not doing the 80%, that you're doing the most important things, that you're focused on those and letting the others get taken care of some of them some other way whether it's the who whether it's eliminating automating whatever it's going to be but if you want some help with your accountability reach out to me go to jeffsjumpstarts.com or come just send me an email jeff at jeffhagey.com thanks for being with me have a great weekend watch for the episode that comes out tomorrow it's outstanding it, especially from a leadership perspective make sure you catch that thanks for being with me i'll be back on monday Athletes put a lot of time, money, and effort into the physical aspect of their sport, but they often neglect the mental game. And the mental game, it's just as important as the physical. In fact, it's often the differentiating factor between good and great athletes. If you really want to reach your full potential, if you want to be a great athlete, you've got to pay attention to the mental game. Now, come and join us in the Confident Athlete Program, where you're going to learn how to develop powerful mindset, extreme self-confidence, and really take your game to the next level. Come and check us out at confidentathleteprogram.com slash membership. Who you surround yourself with really does matter. The people you associate with and spend time with have a huge impact on who you become and what you do in your life. Hi, my name is Jeff Hagee, and I want to tell you about my Inner Circle Mastermind Group. This is a group that's designed to surround you with like-minded, high achievers who will help you to think bigger and amplify the performance of your business and your life while tearing down all the barriers that are holding you back. A mastermind is the fastest way to get you to the next level. If you're ready to network and connect with other successful entrepreneurs and influencers, go to coachhagey.com mastermind.